Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to be talking about how to put a cartoon on the wall. The idea is to make it look like the cartoon was actually drawn and happening on the wall. So we're going to do that effect, and we're going to use a cartoon from Luck Is Me. He's another YouTuber who makes a lot of funny cartoons. I advise you to check him out. The link to his channel is below. He's graciously let me use this cartoon for this tutorial, so let's check it out. All right, for a million dollars, here is your final question. What is the worst thing on this planet? Is it A, famine, B, war, C, suicide, or D, genocide? Now there's no time limit on this one, so take as long as you need. Sore throat. A uh, sore throat? I don't understand. Sore throat, final answer. Well, Luck, I don't know how to say it, but looks like your luck hasn't run out because you just won a million dollars! I can't believe it. It was a trick question. Oh, uh, you got it. All right, now on to the editing. All right, so we're in Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and we're going to do this effect. This effect is uh, a whole lot of fun. So first off, I this video is a little too short. I actually have to stretch it out, so I'm just going to hit Control and stretch it out to make it longer. Uh, this is something that you probably won't have to do if you've planned better. Uh, I'm going to copy this track. So I've already got the video pulled down to these, the video and audio track. I'm going to copy the video track, and I'm going to scroll up here to the text track, and I'm going to hit Paste and then you can go ahead and just delete the duplicate audio track that it creates and you're gonna have the same video twice that's important so the next thing you're gonna do is drag down the cartoon you're gonna be embedding onto your video now this is the one time I haven't deleted the picture-in-picture -picture track it's because I'm actually gonna use it this time if you don't have a picture-in-picture -picture track already set up you can either add that effect to you can just find picture-in-picture here and you can drag it to your clip or you can drag it to the picture and picture track so now that we have that I'm gonna drag this over and um, I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the cartoon to match just for the sake of this tutorial so it's all clean so now We've got the cartoon underneath it. You can't see it because there's a video on top of it. Hit mute for now. Now you can see the cartoon, and if you have it selected, the picture-in-picture -picture effect open, you can do that by hitting the effect button either on the clip or on the track, depending on where the picture-in-picture -picture effect is added. And you can drag it where you want it to be. I want it to be here, so I think that'll be good. Now, the next thing you'll need to do, if this isn't a flat surface, you'll need Vegas Pro, uh, Vegas Pro 17, actually, to do mesh warp. So this is a flash surface, flat surface, so picture-in-picture -picture works just fine. And what you're going to do is you're going to change the composite of this, compositing mode. So you go to the hamburger menu on the track that the cartoon is on, the hamburger menu here, and you go to compositing mode, multiply, mask. Now you can see the effect starts to take shape, but there's a really, really big problem. You can't see anything else. That's all right. Unmute your top track and go ahead and find the cookie cutter effect and drag it onto the top duplicate track there. Hit, uh, you want to hit rectangle. I don't know why that was so hard for me to find and cut away all butt section. Or sorry, cut away section. There we go. I set it backwards. And slide it over, and you can feather a little bit if you want, just depending on what kind of effect you're going for. Uh, you can change the size to, to just underneath the frame. I think if you see the frame of the cartoon, it ruins the effect a little bit. And so we're almost there. You can see it starting to take shape. The next thing we'll need to go, do is go to Levels and drop Levels effect on the cartoon on the cartoon and you'll need to brighten it up until it hits the point that it blends in with the wall so you can get too bright 
or you can get too dark. And so some of your mis cooking, cookie cutter mistakes may show up too while you do this. That's okay. Slide it. That's too bright. That's that's just right, I think. So this right here, this little ghosting, is from the cookie cutter effect. And so we need to go back up here to the cookie cutter effect. And let's make it just a touch smaller. There we go. Okay, that's it. That's the effect. Well, luck. I don't know how to say it, but... Looks like your luck hasn't run out because you just won a million dollars! Yeah, so that's how to draw on the walls with Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Please, if you want to upgrade or buy Vegas through my affiliate link, that helps me out a ton. Let me know you did that, and I'll make you a custom tutorial. If you do have any tutorial ideas, let me know, and I will see what I can do for you. And thank you for supporting this channel. We're almost to uh, 800 subscribers, so that's super exciting. Really appreciate all the all the likes and the subscribes and the views that you guys have been giving me. I'm going to do my best to keep making the best tutorials I can for you. Let me know if you got any suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.